Hey guys, so you want to learn how to make a gold farm in this tutorial and I'm going to show you how. So the resources are in the description so you can start gathering your resources so we're going to construct the gold farm. So first you want to find a nice surface, uh, not a lot of random mountains and stuff. So let's turn on show coordinations so we can, so I can tell you where to go. So you are at 64 blocks. Usually you might be at 70, any random Y level. You don't want to care about that. You just want to go 35 blocks on top to 40 blocks if you want to. And I'm going to go 40 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, like that, continue, now we're at 40 blocks, get an obsidian block, place our first obsidian, and then we're gonna go this way, 22 obsidian blocks, and then that way, 22 obsidian blocks, so let's start counting, 1, 2, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now we got 22. We're going to continue from this side. 1, 2, and then repeat the same process of placing obsidian blocks. Now cover it so we can make a full square of, uh, of a portal. So here comes the, the annoying part. You have to get yourself a flint steel and kind of just flint this portal and break this obsidian block again. And one more time, you just want to see where the big ones are going to fall. Break this. Oh. Uh, we see we see a pigments. Also, oh, they're falling this way, I guess. That means our redstone will be behind this portal, and then we're gonna make a water stream over this side where the pigments gonna fall into it. So first, we're gonna be placing three blocks over this side, three extra blocks, and then three more extra blocks. Now we got this little wall. Now we wanna place one, two, three, four, five blocks over here. One, two, three, four, five blocks over there too. We wanna get observers, trapdoors, and five lava buckets. So how we're we gonna do this? We're gonna place the observers this way, and one of the observers is gonna be looking the other way. So we're gonna break one of these blocks and then place this observer here and block it, and then finish the path for the other observers, and then cover this line. So now we have this kind of line. Then finish the other wall. And then cover it from this side and also just cover it from this line. Now we get this compaction that we call this the the portal igniter. We're gonna placing we're gonna be placing the trap doors because they are the most important part about this. And then we're gonna be placing the lava. So that's where the portal start getting ignited. Without using any flint steels, just infinite igniter. Now it might now it might get a little annoying and it, you can't really add, deactivate it because you have a different redstone compaction to finish. So what you want to do is place blocks over here to cover the lava. Don't cut don't cut don't place a block over the lava because you're gonna lose it. Place a block on top of it to cover it from this from this top side. And then break the portal. And now you're free from the problem. You're gonna be placing three blocks over here and then extend it to become there three by three platform. You're gonna get our dispenser over here and then we're going to be placing a water bucket inside of it a solid block over here and then place two blocks over here and break this one and then place a block over here and then and then place this one and break this one get yourself a repeater over here a redstone dust over here redstone torch over here then redstone dust in front of the repeater now the thing gonna constantly activate and then the water will be constantly working. Now you wanna have a redstone compaction to deactivate this thing. So how do we wanna do that? You get a repeater looking this way at this block behind the repeat behind this repeater. The redstone torch over here. Now the thing is deactivated. You can just break the redstone torch and now it's back to normal. But we're gonna be keeping the redstone torch over here because what we wanna do is we're gonna make a, a block line all the way down where we wanna use this farm safely on the ground we don't have to go all the way up and activate something we, just, we can just stand down here and control the farm so easily with a little redstone line using redstone torches like this break a block place a torch make sure there's a block over a torch constantly lining up all the way up where we where we can reach this area now, I might have made a mistake, so it's fine. We can just place another redstone torch over here. A block, go all the way down, then add a lever, and now it should stop placing water. There we go. As simple as that. Now, after we finish with the redstone igniter and the water breaker, let's make our water slider. So first, we're going to be placing two cobblestone blocks over here, another one beside this wall. And then you would like to use glass blocks because they're kind of fancy and better. And then place it this way. And then line it up like that. A glass block over here. And then a glass block on top of it. Then you want to continue walling this area. Then 
from this glass block that's where the water gonna be placed we're gonna be adding one two three four five six blocks for the first slider platform and then we're gonna continue doing that by placing another block over here then we're gonna go six blocks again now we're gonna copy it again and we're gonna be placing one block over here and we got one two three four five six again continue doing that one two three four five six another time just the last time one two three four five six and now you can remove this line because it doesn't matter now we place the portal now you can start placing walls uh covering this covering this gold farm we don't want the big to fall anywhere just into the killing chambers make sure you wall it up very carefully all the way to the portal just like that and then use the glass blocks the same idea with this cobblestone wall Keep covering it up just to make sure no big men can escape. Now we're going to get one singular water bucket and place it over here. And sometimes you might be worried the big men might actually like spawn and and maybe walk here and then start escaping or, or annoying you on the farm. You might want to just like just extend this on top by one block just making sure these big men cannot really escape and now to the hole for the killing chamber now what we want to do is place a block over here in front of this solid block solid block line water slider and then we're going to be placing one block over here one block over there and then another one over here and then what we want to do is get ourselves a trap door so we can block the water from falling now we just got our slider and then a little hole where the pigment's gonna fall. If you wanna be fancy, you can still use the glass blocks and go all the way down by 18 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And then continue with the other sides, go going all the way down because, because it's time to make the killing chamber. Now we're gonna be placing three blocks over here and then make a platform out of it. Just like so, break these blocks and then add two blocks over this platform and every each side because that's where we're going to build the killing chamber now you can use dispensers or droppers for the killing chamber it's fine both of them can work fine we're going to be placing a, a piston over here and then another piston over here and then continue doing that replicating every each side placing blocks covering it covering the sides of the pistons uh, i can't get to this area so i'm going to be placing this block over here now let's get the observers and let them stare this way so the face is over here and the redstone dust over to this piston so we can place a block and then this observer can activate this piston and we can place the droppers over here and then over there to the to the observer to the observers faces and then place an observer over here a block and then a dropper again observer over here a block and then a dropper and then another observer and then a block over here now we just finished the redstone you can get yourself a lever to activate this killing chamber and flick it like this one time and then unflick it and now this thing gonna constantly keep working so you can afk and kill the big men. now to the important part we're gonna be using a trident because this is bedrock edition mechanics using a trident is very useful because you can you can have infinite experience out of these big men. if you use any other killing methods like natural causes it will not drop you any experience you have to use a trident or different killing methods that requires the player to kill the pigments not the natural causes so just dropping the trident like this will act like the player is constantly killing the pigments it's just a one throw over these pistons the pistons will push the trident so it hurts the pigments now we're gonna cover it one block over here now we finish with a killing chamber and this farm is almost done now we want to go over here and locate this cobblestone solid block over the observer so we know that the observer is over here we want to go underneath it and then over to this block now we know that this block is located over here we want to place a solid block another the solid block another solid block over here and i'm gonna break these two blocks just get yourself a hopper and place it over here and then a hopper minecart with a rail system just like so now you got yourself a hopper minecart over this block we're gonna be placing glass blocks around it making sure it's safe and we're gonna keep this solid block we need this we're gonna extend it to four blocks over this over to this side for the last block what we're gonna do here is we're gonna place a dropper because i really calculated this differently i want to build a storage system over here but we don't want to immediately build a storage system we just we kind of want to just place a, a large chest underneath this hopper because what we want to do right now is kill the big men early get a stack of ingots a stack of nuggets and a stack of rotten flesh so we can actually build the storage system and if you see a lot of swords you can just throw them out and then get the nuggets and the ingots and if you get a lot of nuggets you can craft them to ingots easily and after you have enough resources from activating this farm using this lever you can break this chest 
break these blocks and place hoppers like this now to the drawbar we're gonna be placing a block over here and the block over there and then we're gonna continue making a wall and then another one over here and then a last one just underneath it we're gonna be breaking these two blocks and then break this block because it's useless now this wall gonna help us place the hoppers looking this way now that we got the hoppers looking this way we can break the blocks and then we're gonna be placing two large chests or maybe three large chests over these hoppers only because these hoppers over here will be coated using comparators and to do that we're gonna be placing solid blocks behind these hoppers making making a clear space for these hoppers to be coated using the redstone compression we're gonna be building right now the storage system we call it so we're gonna be placing three comparators over here and then add cobblestones like this get yourself some redstone dust place them like that and then underneath we're gonna go down and add a solid block like this cover it we got we got a line of three blocks now we're gonna get ourselves three repeaters looking this way and then we're gonna be placing blocks don't don't interact with the repeaters place a block over here like that now we got a line over here so the redstone dust can connect to the repeaters and in front of the repeaters we're gonna be placing solid blocks like that and then we're gonna get ourselves a redstone torch and we're gonna be placing all of them in front of the repeaters so just like that we finished the little redstone for this one hopper system we're gonna get ourselves any solid blocks any resources use an anvil and name it to anything i'm gonna just press a because i'm lazy i'm gonna be placing blocks like this or any resources covering just one area like so now we got now we got one hole let's get the resources that we got from the from the gold farm place one stack of golden ingots over here one stack of golden nuggets over to this hopper and then the last hopper will have the rotten flesh after you farmed enough resources now it's up to your choice if you want to make this a super smelter where you smelt the source to, to, to nuggets to me i don't really care I want to make this easy as possible so to that i'm going to be placing a solid block over here a glass block you can use any blocks you want i'd rather use glass because i want to see the lava bucket i'm going to be placing just like that we are done with the sword problem we can make them disappear and not clog the hopper system because if you have a lot of swords clogging this hopper system the the rest of the stuff will be covered and you cannot get the ingots the nuggets and the rotten flesh into these stores to these large chests i mean now to make this dropper constantly work and drop the items we're gonna place two solid blocks over here a redstone dust beside the dropper place another block over here and place a repeater looking this way and then a block on top of the redstone dust and then another redstone dust over here and then place two blocks over here break this one add your lever in for the safety and then a redstone torch over here then you get yourself the trash can where you can put anything and it will constantly drop them to the lava now everything is coated and finished Finished. you can use this gold farm any time of the day make sure you make yourself an afk spot beside it or just stay beside the killing chamber so you can get all the experience levels you want you can expand this storage system all the way down you want to have like a lot of large chests because you you will you will have a lot of resources out of this area so we're just gonna like place hoppers like this as far as you can go it doesn't matter really small or big it depends on how long you're gonna afk on it so let's just expand it place a lot of large chests like this there we go you can use signs or uh, item frames to, to let yourself know where the items at by opening these hoppers knowing where they are and make sure you have a looting sword it's better to have a looting sword on your hand to get the best rates out of this farm now let's go down here and then activate the farm you see the portal gonna start flicking now if it did not flick don't panic uh we forgot to break these blocks and there we go and now you got the big mess falling make sure you hold your loading sword so you can get the best rates out of this farm and you want to make yourself a little platform over here it, it doesn't matter really and just cover yourself for the safety of it and cover your head too and there we go now you're safe in here you can get all the experience from this i can go slash game mode s and you see my levels are going higher you can get to level 30 in five minutes maybe because as many mobs you've been killing it's rather better you stay here and just let the mobs get killed automatically and the race for this farm is really great for the starter for any survival world now you can see how many big ones we got we can just check the glass blocks it's very nice to look at them you can also see them just getting killed by the trident chamber now we can get down to our story system you can see the gold swords are getting smelted i think if you see you can just open these hoppers there's a there's a chance of a gold sword dropping yes and then it's gonna go in here yes there we go you see it just half per second you can see the gold swords are melting over here now we can open the storage system you can see the resources are getting down the nuggets the ingots it's amazing this gold farm is always the best for starter survival world now the hopper might be a little annoying to have so you might want to do a little extra mining for iron or make yourself an iron farm 
using any village of these. And that's all about it. Thank you for watching and the world download will be in the description.